Welcome. Let's discuss the idea of compensation of transformation by looking at a glide reflection. So what is a transformation compensation? Well, that is when we perform more than one transformation to any object. And we can see an example of a transformation composition by looking at a glide reflection. Because a glide reflection is when we perform a translation followed by a reflection. But before we jump into an example, let's talk about the notation that we will be using. For composition, we always use some kind of an open circle. And on the right hand side, we're going to write our first transformation. And on the left hand side, we're going to write our second transformation. So under a glide reflection, our first transformation, it's a translation. And on the left hand side, we can write down the reflection that we will be using. So let's clean this up. So here we have a triangle ABC, where the coordinate points are 2, 2, 4, 6, and 5, 4. And what we want to do, we want to perform a glide reflection into this triangle. Let's start by putting this information in our plane. So for this glide reflection, we want to perform the translation of moving three units to the right and one unit down, and then we want to perform the reflection over the x-axis. Let's start by writing this down using the correct notation. So first, we want to start with the translation. So the translation for three units to the right and one unit down is capital T subscript 3 comma 1. And then to indicate, then then we're going to follow by the transformation of a reflection. We're going to open up a small circle. And then on the left hand side of that circle, we need to indicate what is the reflection that we're doing, which is R X axis. So one thing to notice is that the notation of a composition, we read it from right to left. First the translation and then the reflection. So now let's actually perform the glide reflection. Let's move every point three units to the right and one unit down. So this is going to be our location for C. Let's call it C prime. Now let's move point B three units to the right and one down. That's going to be our location for B prime. And now let's move A three units to the right and one down. That's going to be our location for A prime. So we're done with translation. Now let's perform the reflection on the green triangle, not on the original, but on the triangle that we got after the translation. Let's start with the point of A prime. When it gets reflected over the x axis, we end up at the location of phi comma negative one. But now to indicate that this is the location after two transformations have been applied, then we use the symbol of double prime. So now this point, we're going to call it A double prime to indicate that this is the location after two transformations. So now let's perform the reflection over B prime. Our new location will be at seven comma negative five. And to indicate that this is the location after two transformations have been applied, we're going to call this point B double prime. And now let's perform the reflection over C prime. Our new location will be eight comma negative three. And to indicate that this is the location after two transformation, we're going to call this point C double prime. Let's connect those points. And we are done because this triangle of A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, it is the result of a glide reflection. We first perform a translation and then we perform a reflection. Let's take a look at another example. In this example, we are given a triangle ABC with the coordinate points of negative 7, 2, negative 5, 6, and negative 4, 1. And what we want to do, we want to perform a glide reflection into it. And here we have the two transformations that we want to perform. First, we will perform a translation of four units down and two units to the right. And then we will perform a reflection over the line x equals 3. So let's write this down using the correct notation. First is the translation of four units down and two units to the right. And then we follow with the transformation of a reflection over the line x equals 3. 
to follow the notation, we're going to open up a circle. And then on the left hand side of it, we're going to write down our second transformation, which in this case, it's a reflection over the line x equals 3. And let me remind you that the way that we read this composition function, it is from right to left. First the translation, and then the reflection. Always right to left. Let's start with point C. Let's move it four units down and two units to the right. After that movement, we have a location, a negative two, negative three. So let's call that C prime. Now let's translate point A, four units down and two units to the right. Let's call this point A prime. Now let's translate point B, four units down, two units to the right. We're going to end up at the location of negative three comma two. Let's call this point B prime. Now let's connect those points. So now to perform our glide reflection, let's reflect this green triangle over the line x equals 3. So let's start by drawing our line x equals 3. It is a vertical line passing through the point of x equals 3. Let's start by reflecting the point c prime. Notice that c prime is 5 units away from the vertical line. So notice that after the reflection, it should be five units away from the vertical line as well, on the opposite direction. So we end up at the location of eight comma negative three. Let's call that point C double prime. Notice that in this location, we have to do a double prime because this is the location after two transformations have been performed on point C. Now let's reflect point A prime. Notice that it's eight units away from the vertical line. So after a reflection, it should be eight units away from it as well. So we end up at the location 11 comma negative two. Let's call that point A double prime. This is the location of A after two transformations have been performed to it. So now let's reflect the point B prime. It is six units away from the vertical line. So after a reflection, it should be six units as well. So we're gonna end up at the location of nine comma two. Let's call that point B double prime. This is the location of B after two transformations have been performed to it. So now let's connect those points. And here we have our final result. Triangle A double prime, B double prime, C double prime. It is the result of a glide reflection on triangle ABC. Hello, if you would like to continue learning about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left.